YouTube and subscribership, which I've noticed since the uh, woo flu, subscribers were up to 12 and a half, 13, pushing up close to 14, 15% of all the views that I get out of my YouTube channel, but I mean, that's because it was almost uh, 11,000 subscribers. And my analytics always tell me how many are just general public and how many are actual subscribers. And you were creeping last year up to closer to 15%. I did a few videos when I was talking about how you went from... 8, 9 to 12, 12 and a half percent. And that's really kind of pathetic, but at the same time, now it's dropped to 8 and a half percent. 8 and a half percent of a l l almost 11,000, you can do the math. And one of the reasons I believe is because now, because of the woo flu, ever since that, you know, which I don't get, I don't understand how this affects anybody in YouTube Google land because they just sit at a computer. They don't have to go anywhere and do anything. I think it's, they just dropped the ball. I'm subscribed to 60, 60, I believe, different channels. And I got about everything turned on. And I've got my super favorites and I don't receive email notifications any longer. I get notifications that somebody posted a comment or or posted on my community page where I made a comment or put up a picture or something. But as far as actually getting email notifications of brand new uploads of the people that I'm subscribed to and I've clicked that bell, I don't get any, nothing. And that's the reason my subscribership viewage, I guess, is way down from almost 15% to eight and a half just the other day I looked at it. But that's not the reason I'm doing this video. The reason I'm doing this video, while I'm up here just cleaning up the boat, uh, the big winds are over now. It is Wednesday, September 23rd. Well, it is go time. This blow and everything we just had is gonna be full mullet run going on. I mean, it was the last time I was out, which was actually Friday, this past Friday, was the last day before the big blow started with all these storms out in the Atlantic and Sally going up through the Gulf and then going into land and all this. But what I get is a lot of people asking me, do a best of or something like that video. And it's relatively easy for me because I've got almost 800 videos. And there's certain ones that stick out in my mind because of I was the only one fishing. So what I got here is a video that I'm going to show you. It's actually two days that kind of stick out in my mind as just I had so much fun. And I caught so many, you know, good fish and everything. And it's my time of year. This is going to be an educational video for you. If you're not from Northeast Florida, if you're not from Florida, period, let me tell you, when you show up in 110 degrees in the summer, which that's when everybody does. I've been doing this a long, long time. I know what the deal is. I get my more diehard fishermen in the winter. And I can tell you straight up, when I say winter, I'm talking, I love it when it's cold. I love it, as you'll notice in this video, these two videos coming up, and some photographs at the very end. I'm wearing Grundens. I'm dressed. It is cold out. And we don't ever seem to get that anymore. I've got some recent videos where it's January and February, and I look just like I do right now. Maybe in the morning I'll be wearing a sweatshirt. So we're in a cyclical thing. It's not a reason to go to a new uh, green new deal and let's get rid of all 
carbon emissions and, and uh, combustion engines. I see it as a cycle. 10 years ago is going to be the first video that you're going to watch. And I went out by myself because why? Mondays and Tuesdays are still the best days of the week in the winter to go fishing. What it boils down to is I get all these requests. Hey, Dave, do a best of, do a this. So I'm going to be showing you now two videos of when I'm wearing my attire. I love it when it's cold. I don't mind it right now. I'm not saying that I don't mind it. But when you have to put on your foul weather gear, when the weather's kind of iffy, there's no one around. I um, am out on weekdays. I'm by myself and check out how I'm dressed. And this is going to be a series. There's this first one that I'm going to show you right now, and then there's going to be a second one. This ought to educate you on when to go inshore fishing. So check it out and you'll see some great action. And I'll see you on the next one, which I'm going to hit up a topic of another species. So I'm going to continue to clean up the boat after the blow here. Debris, dust, dirt everywhere. Thanks for watching. Wind's kind of howling. Alrighty, first fish, as you can see, is a sheep's head. Seven striper jetty snapper. Okay, here's the pole bending cam. I got another one on. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's bending the L fairy wand pretty hard. Alright, the whale is definitely in the river. It I'm sitting at near the little jetties and the whale just came up between me and that coasty boat right here in the river. Oh, there he is. Can you see him? He's coming up and down and he's going to run into the little jetty rocks here. But they do turn into the jetties every once in a while and come on in the river. You could probably hear the uh, plane overhead, which is the um, whale spotter plane. Okay, we're back on the pole cam. The whale turned around and is heading back out to sea, looks like. So let me reel this one in. Alright, keep a drum. Targeted species. Finally. By the way, look at all the excitement you're missing on a Monday. <laughs> you got whales in the river, sheephead and drum on the hook. Boy, oh boy, it sure, it turned out to be a little cloudy. It's got a little breeze to it. It's cool, of course, but uh, I'm sitting out here having me a good time. Not a bad one. Look at that perfect hook set. That's the way we like it. All right, not bad for a couple of hours here. Oh, got some nice sheeps. Drum. There's, there's my nicest one. That's my nice one. Okay, I got a big one. Big fish. I love the fairy wand.
look at these clouds. Perfectly blue. Dark. All the way down. Okay, I want to show you. You know you're good. Hook him in the asshole. You know you're good. Woo! All you have to do is come over and fart on it. And I'm going to stick it. All right, I'm back. There's the end of the box there. That's full of fish. Full of sheep's head. Drum. No ice hardly in there. There's about an inch of ice down on the bottom. So I don't know how many I got. Here's who's waiting. And they're going to be really sorry because I ain't cleaning them right now. I'm going home.